Hey guys, what's up? This is gonna be a really quick video. I just I wanted to make a video on this because it came in here. I've been just been working on cleaning my office, but this came up and I thought it'd be a good video for you guys. Uh, just real quick, I'm not gonna do like go in depth, but basically, one of my good friends brought me his computer. This is an i5 8400 and a GTX 1063 gig. I know it's not amazing, but it was built about two years ago when really these were like kind of the only options. RAM was super expensive and it only had eight gigs of RAM, which is kind of the point of this video. So, he said he was trying to play Far Cry 5, and he was having issues. The FPS was just laggy, it wasn't consistent, um, and it was just unplayable. So, he gives it to me, I go, okay, it's probably overheating, because I saw the stock cooler. But, then I realized he had an 8400, and a stock cooler, while being, it gets a little hot, stock cooler works fine. So, I... What I did is I installed MSI Afterburner. Now, I will le leave a link in the description to MSI Afterburner, because it's an amazing tool for this. I installed MSI Afterburner and turned on the on-screen display, uh, showing RAM usage, GPU usage, and I checked what's being the most used and why we would be uh, unable to run our game, uh, and I figured out it was using 7.9 gigabytes of his 8 gigs of RAM, and that other 0.1 gigabytes is reserved, so it was using all of his RAM, running out of RAM, and then just giving up on running the game. See, these are two 4 gigabyte sticks. So, I was like, I don't have, I had some extra RAM at the time, but it was my Trident Z Royal, uh, this RAM, and I really didn't want to give that up for free. So, I just went down to Micro Center and just picked up a, you know, $40 kit, 16 gigs of DDR4, 3000, um, and this is the G Skill Edge. I know that says 85, but that price tag is, is so incorrect. Uh, that's the one problem with Micro Center. You, you have to go by the online prices. The price tags in store are never correct. Now, Basically, it's such an easy upgrade. So basically, and this could be anything. You can see, like, I saw his graphics card VRAM was at, like, 2.8 gigs of 3. But I decided I'm going to test the RAM first. So basically, Far Cry 5 does take a lot of RAM, which is something I know. 8 gigs, sure, it should, you would think it would be enough. But honestly, some games now, especially, you know, Far Cry 5, the new Call of Duty, um, and, uh, and PUBG, they take up so much RAM that 16 gigs, or even 12, uh, about 16, because they don't sell 6 gig dim anymore. Um, 16 gigs of RAM is just recommended. And it's just such an easy upgrade to make. Um, that's why I never recommend buying f uh, two dims of 4 gigs each. Just buy an Xbox. But yeah, so I just want to make kind of a video, and just last but not least... While it's open and we have it here. Because why not? Just, honestly, it's not the greatest dusting job. I'll probably end up wiping it off, but just... This is the two easiest things to upgrade, so check on your system. If you're running games slowly, especially Far Cry 5 or PUBG or the new Call of Duty, if you have 8 gigs of RAM, that's, I can guarantee, that's probably part of your problem. This was an easy upgrade, 40 bucks, that's all it cost to me, it's my friend, and I'm happy to, and of course I installed his Wi-Fi card or whatever. But that's the point. Hope you guys kind of learned something in this video. It's supposed to be quick. I just, I wanted to make a video, because I do have to give this back to him tonight. Um, I want to make a quick video. It's mostly, it's mostly for him to see. Uh, but that's it. It's just easy RAM uh, upgrade. I have these 8 gigs of RAM. Should I give these away on stream? I, I paid for them. I don't know. Don't tell them I kept these. Alright, this is the point. Hope you guys kind of enjoyed. If you like this kind of quick fix video, uh, I would like to do more in depth, like actually showing the MSI after Burner, but like I said, I just didn't have time today. That's the point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.